I began as, as an art director and copywriter originally, uh, but I found myself constantly in a situation where all the cool work was going out. Uh, I liked, I loved what I did and I still do, I still do the art direction, but there was just a lot of other areas in the advertising industry that I actually wanted to know about. The disposable nature of technology nowadays means that uh, on average people are probably thinking about their image, each individual image less than what they used to. One of the great things about an image with an idea is that it has the potential to stand out a lot more than just uh, an image that doesn't have an idea or an image that is just a beautiful image. This image that I retouched for a swimming school, uh, the great thing about it is it starts with a good idea to begin with, the image of the fish, but the execution of it is incredibly complex. There's hundreds of layers, uh, I think there are only about 15 children originally photographed. Uh, at the end of the day, is constructed from a reality that wasn't there. The art direction part of an image is interesting because it's where the idea comes from, but it's also how we execute it. So we end up having an image where art direction affects all sides of it, whether it's from the very beginning to the very final image. Art direction isn't just about ideas, it's also about the actual execution of the image and how it actually looks at the end of the day. Sometimes we don't actually get good images to have to retouch together, so we have to do a lot of work to make them all come together. Uh, sometimes they'll be shot at day, sometimes at night, and we might want the whole lot to look like they're shot at night on the moon. So there can be a huge amount of work extra that goes into the art direction after the idea. The great thing about the art direction skills you'll learn with photography is that they translate to all sorts of other art endeavours, whether photography, sculpture, illustration, painting, animation, uh, or filmmaking. We probably shouldn't limit ourselves to thinking where the ideas should come from. They can come from anywhere. Honestly, you could be uh, inspired to get your ideas from just something obscure you see, some sort of weird geometric arrangement of patterns or something in nature. Uh, sometimes when you're beginning, it, it pays to actually go and have a look at other other forms of art, uh, whether it's film, movies, uh, music, literature, anything basically in the world, just to um, make you look at something differently. <laughs>